Hi children, Roman numerals. We learned the seven main characters. We know how to write one, recognize one, five, ten. Then we can recognize fifty, hundred, five hundred, one thousand. Okay. Now what we'll do? We know the Hindu Arabic numerals. So we'll do write the Hindu Arabic one to ten, and then we'll write the Roman numerals one to ten. We need to build on together, okay? You and I together. So, in one side, I'm going to write here Hindu Arabic, okay? So, Hindu Hindu Arabic, okay? Hindu Arabic numeral. Okay, and then we have the Roman numerals, and that's what we are building on. Okay, Hindu, Arabic, and Roman. Okay, we are going to build on Hindu Arabic and Roman numeral together. Okay, so first I will write one. For one, two, three to ten, I will write, and then we build on one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that's what we are going to do. And then at the side we will write next again Hindu Arabic. So I'll write Hindu Arabic numeral, and then Roman. Numeral, all right. Now here we'll write the eleven. Here I'll write eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now again, next you have here. Hindu, Arabic numeral, and then Roman numeral. Roman numerals. Okay, now that's what we are going to do. What is the number now? Twenty-one. From Hindu Arabic, twenty-one, 28, 29, 30. Now we'll build on a Roman numeral. 1. How do we write 1? Okay. How do we write 1? One? 1 is two tiny lines. That's 1. Then 2. 1, you write it as like this. 2. You will have one and then one more tiny lines at the side of each other. Okay, that is two. Then we have three. Okay, the Hindu Arabic Roman numeral three goes like this one, two, and three. Tiny, three, tiny lines. Now there is a change every time after three because the uh, rule says. The rule number one says that numbers can't be repeated. Strictly, this Roman number one can't be repeated more than three times. So we have done once, twice, and we have done three times. Now there is a change. Number four. Okay. Now 
the in number 4 we learned the rule that to the left of the number to supposing i write number 5 here if there is a number to the left of the greater number which is 5 then we call that as 4 minus from the 5 take away 1 that's the rule that is rule number 2 then you have number 5 this is number 5 Now the rule number six says, the rule number the rule number four says number five. Okay, now I'm writing number five here. Okay, number five. Any number to the right of it is never subtracted. So now we have five, and we have to write six. So you write number one here. Okay, so you have five. You have six. Now we go to seven. Seven, you write it as you write the five. You write the five, and then you have six here. One more, you add, and now you get seven. Look at that. One, two, three, four. From five, take away one, four. Then you hit five. Say seven, and the next number is eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. What does the rule number one says? You can't repeat more than three times. So when the, in number nine there is a change, we are talking about number nine. Now you know how to write ten. All right, this is the ten that we know. Any number, the rule says. any number to the left of the greater number you should take it as minus 1 so you write the 10 and you write 1 here 10 minus 1 that is 9 so in roman numeral this is 9 now let's look at very carefully 1 2 this is in the arabic this is roman numeral 2 3 Four, there is a change. That is five. Take away one, four. That is one and four is one and five is four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is a change. You put the ten, and to the left of it is a smaller number. You minus from the greater number. So what, nine, ten take away one, nine. So this is nine and ten. Now we build on into our big number. Eleven to twenty. Okay. Now we already know ten. We already know this is ten. So you put one. You get eleven. All right. Next you have twelve. So ten and two more. You have ten here. Eleven here. Twelve here. So similarly, thirteen, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now, just like four, there is a change in fourteen. So you know the ten. That's a ten. How do we write four? One and five. So you have one and five. Now that is fourteen. Now we have fifteen. You know five. You know ten. Ten and five, fifteen. So you put ten, and you know five. And you get the fifteen. Now sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You follow the same pattern. Ten. Okay. Then five. Fifteen. Now you get sixteen. Same thing you follow for next two. You get ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Next same thing. Eighteen.
All right, 18. Now, 18, you have 10, 5, 15, 16, 17, and here 18. Again, in 19, there is a change. 10 and 9, 19, very easy. 10, you write the 10, then you write the 9. 10 and 9, 19. How do you write 20? Two tens. How do you write 20? 10 and 10. 20. The Roman numerals are very, very interesting. Isn't it? Now we build on 21. Okay? Now we are going to build on 21 to 30. Okay. 20 you know. And one more. 20. Roman numeral. 10, 20 and one more. So, 21 is very easy. We got it. Similarly, you go to 22. 10, 20, 21, 22. So, we got 22 also. One more time, we can repeat that. 23. 10, 20, 21, 22 and 23. So we got 23 now. There is a change when it comes to 24. Okay? You know how to write 4 and you know how to write 20. 20 and 4, 24. So 10, 20 and then you write 4, 24. Alright? 10, 20, 24. Then 25. You know 20, you know 5. 20 and 5, 25. 10, 20 and 5. 25. Very easy. Now, you who know 6, you know 20. Okay? So, 26. <coughs> 10, 20, 25, 26. All right? 27. You know 7 and 20. You have 20 here. You have 7 here. Just repeat. Okay. 27. 10, 20, 25, 26 and one more. 27. Now, 28 is same. 20 plus 8, 28. 20, then 25. 26, 27, 28. So 20 and 8. 28, very easy. There is a change when it comes to 29. You need to write 20 and then you need to write 9. 20 and then you write 9. That is 29 and 30. You have 10, 20, 30. Okay? 10, 20, 30. So we learned to build the Roman numerals according to the Hindu Arabic numerals. We learned how to build Roman numerals 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30.